Hi, welcome to Mystical Mondays with me, your host, Anna Raimondi, coming to you from Connecticut. So today I'd like to talk about surrendering to God, what it means and how to do it. So this concept is found in many spiritual and religious traditions. It often means entrusting one's life, will, and purpose to the highest power. Now, of course, this is based upon your personal beliefs, but it is a true act of faith and will help you let go of much that you can't control. So, as we know, there are many things in life that are out of our control. Our children are not within our control when they reach a certain age. The people around us are out of our control. Sometimes our jobs are out of our control. Illness is out of our control. And that's just to name a few. And when you surrender to God, very often people surrender with one hand and then take it back with the other hand. Leaving it in God's care is an act of pure faith and trust. Every day I surrender myself, my family, our love for each other, our wants, our needs, our happiness, our sadness. I surrender it all up to God. I know that some people feel that if they do this, then they're not in control. Well, you're not in control anyway, or that you're asking for something bad. This is a loving God that we have. You know, surrendering it up means that it's for our highest good. And that's something that has to be acknowledged and trusted. So I do this on an everyday basis. And again, it's based upon our limitations as human beings. And it's about accepting that there is an all-knowing higher power with a different perspective on what is going on in our lives. As we surrender, it's also important to engage in prayer and meditation, to be in the connection with God, to speak to God of your fears, and the things that you may want or not want, but to literally put it into God's hands. You let that energy of God encircle you in trust. Some people like to read sacred texts while doing this. I don't do this. I just know that there is a connection between me and God and that God has my highest good involved. But it's something that you absolutely could do to go deep into it. This is also an exercise in humility and lack of ego because it's saying, I can't do this on my own. I need something and someone higher and more knowledgeable who loves me beyond all and is there to help me and get me through. It's pure faith. It's believing that God will take it and help you through. It also is a practice of letting go of attachments. So it doesn't mean giving up all your material things. It's more about personal desires and ego that dominate your life, that block your spiritual growth. When I was writing Conversations with Mary, one of the things she spoke about is humans wanting to be supreme, wanting to be the God. And I think sometimes in each of our lives, we want to be God. We want to be the one that fixes, that knows, fixes ourselves, fixes other people, be in control. And then boom, something hits us. And we know we're not in control. We never have been in control. So you might as well just give it up to the heavens and the universe and believe that you are being surrounded 
with the help you need just to surrender it all. What also helps along these lines is being with other people. And I've said this before, um, being with other people who can support you in this endeavor without even talking to them about it, but are on your page. That's really important. Not people who poo poo and say, oh, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Because that's not true. It is probably one of the most wonderful things you can do. I've gotten through so much with surrendering, so much that it is, um, it's a miracle. When things have gone array with my children and I felt like, like what's going to happen? I can't fix this. I had great faith that God would intervene and I would just lift them up and surrender them and leave it there. Leave it. Not, not question it, not wonder what's going to happen. I just knew and I believed that they were going to be okay. And they were through some easy things and some difficult things. Always practice gratitude. Say thankful before it's answered. Say thankful that this wonderful energy of God is around you. Try to live your life according to your beliefs and your morals. Try to stay in that place and your belief in the higher power, a power higher by far than you. So surrender is not always a one-time event. Sometimes you have to repeat it, but never take it back. But this is, this is a deep personal journey, learning how to surrender and finding what resonates inside of you. Sometimes I recommend people keep a coffee jar and surrender things into, into it. You know, just keep it and you can close it up, whether it's a coffee jar or a coffee can or a paper bag. Um, and then at the end of it, burn whatever you wrote down on those pieces of paper of things that you want to surrender to God and let the element of burning rise up to the heavens. It's important to recognize that we are not the end all and that there is a God who loves us and wants to help us to see us through and to make us feel the love. And so, thank you for listening to this episode of Mystic Mondays. I wish you peace. I wish you love. God bless. Until we reconnect.